Hey everyone, Camelot here, and it finally happened. And I'm so surprised that it was so quick. It's been like a week, and it's already happened. I have started receiving threats to take down my videos and my posts about GameStop. Who saw that coming? I sure didn't see that coming. So as you're probably aware, I made a video talking about my 11 year journey working at GameStop. Um, some positive things, some negative things, shedding some light on the shady things that happen that everybody's aware of that happens at GameStop. Even the company's aware of it. Like they're aware of it, but they're still threatening me to take everything down. As if somebody's gonna learn this new secret that they're doing these things and suddenly not go there. No one goes there anyway. Why would you leave your house? Amazon exists. Steam exists. All these things exist. I don't care to go to Hot Topic with games because it's basically what it is now. And I don't know what is thought of to be gained by threatening me to take things down, sending me scary messages like, what are you gonna do, fire me? So Monday I made an AMA um, on Reddit and it was basically, hey, you know, I worked at GameStop for 11 years, you know, ask me anything, right? Well, I didn't really expect for it to explode and go to the front page. And I couldn't even comment on every question that was asked. There was a question every second. Of course, my video is linked in this Reddit post and uh, it kind of exploded a little bit. And now it's actually out there. So guess what happens? People start seeing it. Now what I'm thinking is, the people that are messaging me, threatening me, are people that work at GameStop that defend it to the death, which I've never understood. Why defend it? Why defend these practices? That just makes you look like a loon bag. Especially when the pay is so terrible. Like they don't take care of you. The pay's not good. I mean, since the store leaders are not on salary anymore, if their kid gets sick, they don't get paid. They don't take care of you. Why would why are you defending them? Why are you sending me messages? Oh, if you know what's good for you, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna give you the old AIDS. Too late. I already got it. Nothing you can do about that. <laughs> so this just it just went crazy. It just blew up. Look at all this. Look at all this madness. Look at it. I mean it's just it just goes forever. I like this one right here. This is a scary one. Just a heads up. Like, oh, thanks, you're gonna let me know that I'm gonna get stabbed and killed and probably sued if I don't take things down. Thank you for the heads up. You're really looking out for my well-being here. So this guy's basically saying I'm gonna lose my current job and being internet famous just isn't worth it. And then he was like, you admitted committing retail fraud. What? You're sentenced to 10 years in prison for retail fraud in the first degree. Like, for one, what did I do that was retail fraud? If that's what, what is this term? Why do I keep saying this term? And I don't work for GameStop. HR is not going to come to me and be like, hey, you're doing shady things. It's like, I'm already not there. <laughs> then this guy starts basically talking about how he would, wouldn't hire me. Then he says the best advice he can give is internalize the worst and talk about the good stuff and speak to the opportunities. Now some people were really supportive, right? So I only got a few messages that were super negative, but some of them were redeeming. He said, I watched your video and shouted amen at my screen. He spent seven years at GameStop and his experiences aligned with mine. The constant threats of termination, the excruciating pressure to make numbers, thinking back and reflecting on those years, which he apparently pushed out of his mind, was special. So going to the Reddit post, let's go through a few of these funny comments that people just put on there. Have you ever found drugs and money hidden in consoles that were traded in? Yes, several times, and even found porn in DVD cases. So did you smoke or... No. Was an ASM. Found porn all the time. Pot a few times. Even a whole leaf one. Also a 3DS filled with porn. What's going on at GameStop? We have to have a serious talk. You gotta change. If you don't, you're gonna end up dead. And you're gonna have no money. And all we're gonna remember are all the bad things. You gotta get your act together. You gotta get it together. What was your best memories? <laughs> Leaving. 
Nice. What was the worst game you ever sold? Worst day at work. Well, obviously the worst game I ever sold was Road to Hell Retribution. The worst day was, yeah, that day. Because it got robbed. Got a revolver pushed up against the tempo. It was kind of scary. <laughs> was it the guy you sold Road to Hell to? <laughs> oh, God. You would think it would have been. Because that game is a nightmare. Looking at you, you technics. <laughs> he offered him $3 store credit. <gasps> oh! Don't offer no credit for guns. Because then they'll just use the gun on you. <laughs> I would not be surprised. Who robs a GameStop, honestly? Some guy <laughs> uses a revolver, apparently. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Do you guys have battle toe? Yes, we actually did have them when I was leaving. We actually had retro games when I left. Guess you didn't expect that, did you? Vanza. Didn't expect me to throw that in your face. What do you feel is the company's biggest flaw? Do you have any suggestions on how they might fix or mitigate it? Positive reinforcement. I believe so much in positive reinforcement. That's how I lead. It makes your employees want to work for you. Not because they have to, but because they want to. Positive reinforcement is something that you should always practice if you're in some type of leadership role. And GameStop was completely void of that. What is your worst customer experience? So this one time, a guy came in and he asked to use the bathroom. I told him, of course, we didn't have a public one because, you know, that's where all of our systems are in the bathroom. So all those systems you're buying are just covered in piss and poop. So after telling him we didn't have a bathroom, he just goes in the corner and just takes this five pound dump in the corner. It looked like the Triceratops poop from Jurassic Park. Like it was almost the same size. Looked exactly like it. And it smelled like the middle of Satan's G-string. It was outrageous. Crazy story? Poking up with random people at the GameStop conference? I mean, obviously, right? If you slept with one with a ton of ear piercings and a bad dark red hair dye job, that was my ex. She cheated on me every conference for three years. Wow. Every conference for three years. You think after the first year you would have been like, nah, man. <laughs> like, oh, you cheated on me at conference with a very attractive tattoo guy? Well, still love you. Don't do it again, though. What was your worst experience with selling an M-rated game to someone who was below 17? <laughs> he already quit. Leave him alone. They're st still trying to come for me. HR's coming in the comment section just to yell at me. It's over. I'm gone. It's fine. How often would someone turn in a console that was dirty and infested? Daily. <laughs> we had roaches at the store that looked like footballs with legs, man. They were so huge. It was outrageous. Do you think GameStop will be looking at this post? And if they are, what would you want them to know? My point is, look at Publix. You can't get anything at Publix that you can't get at Walmart, yet Publix are popping up everywhere. Why is that? Customer service. That's why. When you go into a Walmart, people that work there will either run away from you or say, that's not my department, or there's just no one there. At Publix, they shake your hand, they give you a swift kiss on the cheek, and then they ask to take your, your one box of protein bars to the car in the rain. And you say no, because you gotta have some respect. Oh, King Swipe came to join the party in the YouTube comments. Bro, you were ridiculous. Someone made stuff about you and wasn't true and you just hand your kids. That's mint and guilt, bro stuff. Bro stuff. I've been with the company for two whole years. Wow, that's so long. Assistant store manager for a whole year. You're basically, you're basically the president now. So you, you just buy Ferraris every day, apparently. And he has had zero of the issues that I've encountered. Our COL doesn't rip the guest off. Is everybody hearing this guy right now? This is this guy. COL does not rip the guest off. You're a scum that worked in a scummy, shitty part of the country. Of course, every job has shitty bosses and shitty customers. It's how you handle your shit, man. 
you're a joke. I'm a joke, man. I'm a joke. And you're painting the company in a bad light for views. No one else has done this. I don't know. Closing 200 stores a year. Taking your store managers off a salary. Threatening to fire people after two weeks because they didn't make COL. Which was actually a policy when COL first started. Missed the swap? <laughs> Trust me, I don't have to paint the company in a bad light. They do that every day themselves. It's like one of those pictures with a snake eating himself and he's just a circle. That's GameStop. Just putting this out there, the stock was dropping way before I ever said a single word. Oh please, almighty GameStop God. Don't come down on me. Don't sue me. I'm so young. I got so much else to do in life. Don't take my life away from me more than you already have. So all in all, the AMA was a success. But I might be shot soon, which is fine too. I'm okay with this. And now I have over 100,000 karma. Whatever that means. Can I buy a Ferrari with the karma? How much is karma worth? Can I buy a Ferrari with Reddit karma? No. So all in all, I'm being pressured to take everything down. Obviously. I'm not going to do that. Because I'm just talking about. Just talking about the hell that exists on Earth. It's the closest you can get to hell, man. The closest you can get. I was there. I was in the hell for 11 years and I climbed out like Kratos straight out of hell and I'm just trying to get back to my family that I killed so I just wanted to share that with everybody if I wind up dead in the next couple weeks you know who pulled the trigger so as usual get on it doggone it I'll see y'all in the next video bye